everybody. Welcome back to Facebook. I hope you had a great holiday weekend and that you got a chance to FaceTime with some of your family and friends or maybe Zoom or go to meeting. It's great to have technology to help keep us in contact. Today I'm joined by Mayor Pro Tem Jungus Jordan and District Six. District Six, District Five, five Councilwoman Gina Bennett. I have not moved. I'm not moved. Jungus is six, and Gina is District Five. So thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank Mayor. you. They're going to talk a little bit about our Community Services Advisory Committee, a committee that we appointed to begin to look at, focus on public health, and look at the issues surrounding this pandemic that we're dealing with in the city. Each committee that we formed has two council members chairing it. And all week long, we're going to hear from our council members on their work on your behalf on this. But first, I want to give you a brief update on where we stand with COVID. Today, Tarrant County has 876 positive cases, 25 fatalities, and 103 recovered cases. Fort Worth has 335 positive cases, 12 fatalities, and 38 recovered. That's a growth of 58 cases over the weekend. That's a little bit of a slowdown from where we saw ourselves last week, and that's a good thing. Unfortunately, there were four new fatalities this weekend, which breaks my heart. It just absolutely breaks my heart. My thoughts and prayers go out to those who have lost a loved one to the COVID-19 virus. But as I've said before, these updates just don't get any easier. But if we all stay home and follow the rules, they will, because we will flatten that curve. Fortunately, Fort Worth has a dedicated city council that's working hard on your behalf. They may be working from home, but they're working hard for you. And they are available on their social media platforms, by telephone or by email too. And we'll make sure that you get that. This Council Member Bivens and Council Member Jordan are chairing the Community Services Committee. It looks to bolster resources for those who are in need to identify areas that might have slipped through the cracks and might not be getting there. From food insecurity to utility assessments and assistance, just a lot of things where you may have an immediate need or you may know someone who has an immediate need. So I want to let y'all do a brief update. And Jungus, I believe you're gonna begin well, with your update. Thank you, Mayor. And first, let me say thank you very much for your leadership. As everybody knows, I'm a retired military guy. And I've said in a lot of operations centers in uh, very difficult times in wartime and peacetime, and it's always important to have one voice leading uh, the organization. And you've, you've done a Herculean job in, you. in doing that. Obviously, you've heard from all of us and each of us as we've advised, but your leadership has been critical to helping Fort Worth and helping the uh, uh, 6,000 employees of the city of Fort Worth that are leading uh, and Thank helping you. our citizenry. They're working hard. Yes. The, uh, the Community Services Advisory Committee was put together to uh, ensure collaboration, communication, and uh, that all uh, emergency needs were being identified, particularly in the area of food security, uh, housing assistance, and utility uh, assignments. What we've discovered early on, and there's 15 members, I believe, uh, that are uh, from numerous non-profit non organizations in the private sector that are giving us advice on availability, logistics chains, uh, the needs of communities as far as food and, and housing and other needs. So we, we've been cooperative in this. We learned early on the biggest issue that we address is communications. And uh, early on what we did was bring on uh, the uh, faith-based community as a communications channel that uh, was initially uh, not in, in the uh, uh, committee assignment, but that has been invaluable in getting the words out. And I would say our faith-based uh, leaders have done a Herculean job in guarding us through this uh, difficult time, uh, this emergency, and making sure that all Fort Worth citizens are being cared for and taken care of, particularly those of greatest need. Um, Gina and I have co-chaired uh, with the uh, great help of uh, Dana Berghoff, who is our assistant city manager, and we think that uh, we've got plenty of work to do, but we are strongly encouraged by our uh, grocery retailers, our logistics channels, and 
uh, our nonprofit organizations that are making sure that everyone is being fed and cared for in our great community. Uh, Fort Worth will continue to be the greatest city in the greatest state and the greatest nation on God's earth. Thank Gina. you, Douglas, for the update. Gina? Thanks, Mayor Douglas. Douglas one. Mayor, thanks for putting this committee together. I wrote you immediately. I love this assignment. Uh, one thing that I'm very concerned about, and Jungus and I are in accord, is when it comes to communicating to everyone, but especially our seniors. And so we were able to get information on grocery stores so that we know when those special hours for seniors do take place. Uh, I do know for myself, I can go to Sam's on Tuesday and Thursday, pull up and give them my list, never get out of my car, and they will take care of the shopping for me. But we've heard from Albertsons, Tuesdays and Thursdays, once again, those days, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Kroger, the same thing, 7.30 though, is their cutoff time on Tuesday. But check your grocery store, your favorite grocery store, to see how those hours are going. If you get one of these postcards in the mail, that's going to mean that your neighborhood, your community is at risk for having a high number of COVID-19 cases. This is going to be mailed out no later than the 14th of April. So if you get one, pay attention. It's very serious. We also have another flyer that's been given to all people and community groups like Meals on Wheels who handle food and our recreation centers as well. Those are very important things for you to remember. It's also important to know that even though you can't control COVID-19, you can control yourself, your deeds, your actions. That's why the mask is very important. You can make your own mask. I have gloves as well. So even though you don't know who might have contracted COVID-19, you can control your own actions and we encourage you to do so. And Jungus, it's a pleasure serving with you. Mm -hmm. I should mention, we also brought on the Apartment Association. Uh, Perry Pillow has been a real big source of information for us because a number of renters are living in, in fear right now, not knowing what's gonna happen. So it's good to have that voice from the Apartment Association as well. And again, Mayor, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. I'm looking forward to continuing this journey. We don't know how it's gonna end, but at least we're all in it together and Fort Worth knows we're here for them. And we're all working hard. And yeah. robocalls, Gina, you might address robocalls that went out. I got my call from Chief Davis. That That's not a good thing, but it just shows that you know we're on top of situations. There is going to be a citywide robocall that will be taking place soon. There will also be a call going out to neighborhoods at risk again. So we're doing everything we can at City Hall to communicate with people, especially those neighborhoods and zip codes where we know high cases of COVID-19 do exist. Thank you. And Jungus, there are no age groups or ethnic groups that are exempt from this. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. We're all, um, this, this is a pretty uh, bad enemy that we're addressing today. And, uh, it's very contagious and uh, you don't know who who next is going to get it and uh, we all uh, are praying for our community and making sure that we stay healthy. And people want to say, not me, I won't get it, but it can happen to anyone, no matter whether you're it 14 can. or 94. It's it a can. equal it opportunity attacker yeah. and it goes it, after everybody. And, and thank you all for working so hard on making needs, get meeting needs in our community. Mary, if, if I may, it, 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 just a very quick story. We just went through Easter and Passover, and if those folks know the story of the 10 plagues of Passover that freed the uh, Israelites, uh, we know uh, what we're going through right now. And obviously, uh, currently, we just have maybe one plague and maybe two as we come out of it economy-wise, but rest assured, we'll all work together to come out as uh, as proud Americans and proud Fort Worthians. We will, and, and we will be okay. I wanna add one more thing, Mayor. The people who are watching this, whether it's on the city's website, the city channel, or Facebook Live, please share this knowledge with people you know. Don't just sit there and watch the Mayor's updates yourself and take it for yourself. You've got to share it with, with everybody you know because it's hard communicating in this day and time in 2020. We don't have the full page ad in the Star Telegram, but we, we might, who knows, may get some money to do that. But there are just different ways to communicate, whether it's tweeting, Facebook, Instagram, face, Facebook Live, like what the mayor does every weekday. You've got to share that information with the people you know and the people you love. And I know you probably heard about people gathering in District 5 over the weekend. Congressman Vesey got involved with that. 
we don't want to see people gathering, but we don't want to do a whole bunch of mass arrest either. So hopefully people will police themselves and just know you could be close to someone with this disease and they could pass it to you and you wouldn't even know it. And that's why you can control where you go, what you do, and what you wear. Absolutely. Thank you, Gina. And you all did a great job this weekend, staying out of the parks or just using the parks for exercise. I rode my bike through and people were being great, practicing social distancing and not doing picnics and things. So I was impressed. This truly is a community effort. If you want to see the data, every morning TarrantCounty.com updates their data for that day. And then we post it a little bit later on our FortWorthTexas.gov page. So you can find those, you can find the links to them on social media. <clears throat> Let's continue to be diligent, continue to work hard to help eradicate COVID-19. If you've got needs, let someone know, whether it's your neighbor or something that we need to help you with. Contact the city, contact your council member or someone else. And together, we'll protect our community. So we always close by saying, y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, Y'all stay home. All right.